Hello everyone, Matt Hoots here and welcome to another episode of Fresh Air Fridays. And before you forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And in this week's episode, we are going to talk about spot ventilation. Uh, many people call it bathroom fans, but these fans can be used in many different parts of the house. So we're going to talk about how to size a fan, why you need a fan, where you need a fan, and some of the features and benefits of the manufacturers that we have reviewed. All right, let's get started. So why do we need ventilation? Well, it's very simple. Bath fans, in many cases, and it's kind of crude, electricians, plumbers, and HVAC guys, they call these fart fans. Well, these aren't necessarily just for getting those smells out. More importantly, these fans can also help get moisture out if you're taking a shower, can help get moisture out or some of the smells out of a laundry room, and the same thing for your garage. So not only does it get the moisture, some of the bad smells out, it can also help bring some fresh air in if you have stale air in a particular area that's not getting enough ventilation. So where are some of the places that you can use these ventilation fans? Well, the most common location for these would be your bathrooms, either your powder rooms, master bathrooms, or your three-piece hall bathrooms. Uh, another place you can use this is in a garage. We could talk about how to design the ones for your garage. Basements, attics, sunrooms, and line rooms are all excellent places for ventilation fans. All right, so which fan do you need to use and what size do you need? I've done a ton of research. Um, actually, last night I was going through a spreadsheet of at least 30 different fans, doing comparison charts and whatnot, and guess what? By doing that, I found out that there's one fan that actually met the check mark for everything that I needed for my house, and that was the Whisper Green Select with Multi-Speed. Uh, let's talk about some of the features and benefits of this particular fan and why I chose this for my house. One of the fun things about doing research on the Panasonic Whisper Green Select is learning about all of the different trademark technologies that they have. Now, one of them is the Pick a Flow technology, and the Pick a Flow technology means that you can buy a fan that is pre wired to have different rates of air moving through it. Now, the Whisper Green Select has 50, 80, and 110. So, when you buy it and install it with the flip of a switch, you can change it to the different CFM. So, what is a CFM? Well, a cubic foot is this. You've got a one foot cube. So you have a one foot squared, one foot by one foot, and then you add the depth, and this is the cube. So if you have 50 CFM, that means that 50 of these per minute are going to go out through the bath fan. And that's probably the setting you're going to have on most of them. But this one comes pre wired. We can have 80 and also 110. Now, this is not unique to the Whisper Green Select. Um, with my research, I noticed that many of the other fans that Panasonic has, has that switch a flow technology. And this allows you to buy a fan and depending on the situation, you can change the CFM without having to worry about purchasing the wrong type of CFM and taking it back to the store if it doesn't work. So since this fan comes preloaded with the pick a flow technology, which CFM do you need for that particular space? Well, if it's a regular powder room, the 50 CFM will work in most cases. Um, if it's a, a place with a shower, probably the 80 CFM, because a lot of times there's a lot of steam that comes off the shower. And 80 CFM will also help take all the moisture out of the air so your mirrors do not fog. We usually find that about 65 cubic feet per minute of air exchange, net air exchange is needed to keep the fog off the mirrors. Now, if you have multiple shower heads or even two showers plus other water sources, the 110 might be the best fan for you. Now, keep in mind the 110 is ideal with a six inch duct. If you use the four inch, you're going to have too much static pressure, and this quiet fan can become a little bit louder because of the resistance that you have through the ductwork. Another fun trademark term that Panasonic has on some of their bath fans is smart flow technology. Now with the Whisper Green Select, this comes standard. So what this means is that it has an ECM motor and a sensor inside. So if it detects that there's too much static pressure in the line, it can vary the speed. Now this is very handy if you have a very long um, or challenging duct design where you can't go into a straight line. In most cases, if you have too many elbows in it, 
The static pressure is the buildup of air that's pushing back against it as it's trying to make those turns or go a very long distance. Now with this fan, if you have a challenging duct design, it can overcome that with extra um, fan speed because of this blower and it can push right through that to make sure your, your space ventilates properly. So let's talk about the last and final trademarked term that Panasonic has for us. It's the plug and play technology. Now the standard fan that I'm choosing already has one of these preloaded. However, you can order modules that don't have these on, on there. So you've got three different slots for this. The first one has a high low delay and this basically when you leave the room or turn the fan on, it can change the CFM. It can also keep on running for a certain period of time. Now you can choose the period of time um, and program it into the fan for how long the fan runs after you leave the space. Now there's two other modules that you can add to this. One is a motion sensor. Now I've had some of my clients use the motion sensor. For a bathroom, uh, I usually find that either the delay or putting in a timer and or having it where you have the condensation sensor, which is the last one, is probably a better um, use of that particular slot. Now the motion sensor is good for, for certain cir circumstances. If you have a um, garage and you actually use the garage for cars, unlike my garage where I've turned it into a studio and a shop, you might want to have that motion sensor because when you park your car and if it's an attached garage, you don't want those fumes getting into your house. So as soon as you pull in, that fan can kick on and start sucking some of the air out so that dirty air from your car doesn't get into the house. Now the final slot, and I'm going to choose these for all of our bathrooms that have showers, is the condensation sensor. This sensor detects when there's a moisture bloom in that particular space, and if you have too much humidity, this sensor kicks on and basically shuts off once the humidity is out of the space. So those are the three modules that you have, and again, one of the, the, the models that you get has it preloaded. So when you order it, make sure it has the multi-speed as part of the description, otherwise you're going to have to buy these different modules and plug it into it. All right, now we've gone through all the ways to design for a bath fan and the different aspects of this particular Whisper Green Select bath fan. Let's talk about why Sawhorse has made this our standard bath, bath fan for our clients. Well, first of all, it is very, very quiet. Um, it's only 0.3 zones, which is one of the quietest bath fans in the market. As I was doing research to compare different bath fans for this presentation, all the other ones that I wanted to try to talk about were a lot noisier. Some of them were two zones and greater, and I really didn't want to talk about those in this presentation. Uh, the next thing that I like about this, this bath fan, it is Energy Star rated. So that means that I can get Energy Star certifications, it meets the building code, and it also means that if we're going for a green certification, that this bath fan will help us get points for our green certification. Um, the third reason that we, we chose this is we don't have to do any math anymore. Now it used to be when you're buying a fan off of the shelf, you had to know what the CFM was, what the space was gonna be like. With this fan, you really don't have to think at all. All you have to do is install it and then program it as you're installing it. So it comes preloaded with 50, 80, and also 110 CFM, which meets the requirements of most um, bathrooms or areas in your house. Only if you're using a garage or maybe a basement that you want even more than that. Now the third, I mean sorry, and that was the third reason. The fourth reason we like this, I love the plug and play technology. Now with the ones that we make standard, it comes standard with the delay sensor, which means that it can keep on running after you leave the bathroom or you turn it off. Uh, what I also like that it comes where you can add a motion sensor module and also has an extra slot where you can add the uh, precipitation sensor module. And the final reason, and probably one of the things that I'm most excited about now, is this is part of the Panasonic Cosmo system. Now what is that? Well, that is part of a new indoor air quality whole house system that they have. So they have most, I'm sorry, they have detectors that are throughout the house and these detectors can tell if you have too much pollution. So if you have a detector on your kitchen table or in a different part of your house and it notices that you have too many particulates or you have too much of one type of pollutant, it automatically can let, as part of the whole house system, it can let you know that you have pollution in the air, but guess what? 
these fans kick on as well. So to get all that pollution and all those particulates out of the air, the sensors can let these fans know if they're in a different part of the house. So all the fans can kick on at the same time or just the ones in that particular section. What's nice about that is usually one of these bath fans, if it has a sensor on the fan, only can sense what is in that particular area. With the Cosmo system, this is a whole house ventilation strategy, which is very exciting and I can't wait to try that out. Thanks everyone again for watching this episode of Fresh Air Friday and dealing with one of our topics, which is ventilation. For your convenience, we've loaded up the rest of the Fresh Air Friday videos to your right over here. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe. See you next time.